Hello, I'm Dr. Joe of the DrJoe.com. Now, sometimes in life you can do all the right things and the flu virus will still strike. Now, if you feel the signs of flu coming on, is there something you can do to actually stop the attack in its tracks? Of course there is. And that's what's coming up next after the challenge intro, so stay tuned. Now for today's 2020 idea to better health, please welcome on stage Dr. Joe. So what can you do to actually stop a flu attack if you feel the signs of flu coming on? Well, there are two things you can do. One is the first thing you must do is suspend all exercise programs. Normally we say you should exercise, but when you feel the signs of flu coming on, it makes sense for you to suspend all exercise activities. The reason for this is that exercise is actually a stressor to the body. Uh, so if you go ahead and exercise, when you feel the signs of flu coming on, you're gonna precipitate an attack. Uh, you're gonna bring it forward. So suspend all exercise activities. That's the first thing you should do. Second thing you should do is to actually use this agent we call here. Uh, we call it oregano. It's an essential oil and I, it's, it's a very nice oil and I think it's, um, it will make a very nice addition to your home. It's a nice herbal remedy to have in the house, oregano oil. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to prepare it now. One of the reasons why I like the oregano oil is because of the active ingredient in it. Uh, the active ingredient is actually called Carvacrol. And this particular brand that I've got here has got 86% of uh, Carvacrol in it. Carvacrol is actually a very nice herbal remedy. It's got antimicrobial properties. And that will include antibacterial as well as antiviral properties. That's why I like it. Now, you can actually use it to prevent a flu attack, but you can also use it to actually stop a flu attack. Even if it doesn't stop it, it will reduce the severity of the flu attack if it does come through in the end. But it's a very nice one. Most of the time you see, if I feel the signs of flu coming on, uh, I use this and it's gone. So I'll advise you to get one of these. I'm gonna leave links in the video description. If you wanna get one of these for yourselves, you go ahead and uh, get it for yourself. Uh, this one is, uh, this brand is the Zane Heller's brand. So, how do you prepare it? Well, there are various ways of doing it. I'm gonna show you just two ways of doing it today. Uh, one, the, one of the ways I like to do it is, uh, I use green tea lemon as well as coconut oil yes something i should say about the oregano oil the cover crawl needs it's an essential oil but it needs an oil carrier and what that means is you should not actually be taking it without any oil carrier because it can irritate the gut you know your esophagus and your stomach uh, i know the manufacturer say you can add it to water and just drink it don't do it please always have an oil in it because it needs an oil carrier and in this case we're going to be using coconut oil you you don't have to use coconut oil you can use olive oil but i'm going to use coconut oil here so essentially what do i do i just add the uh, green tea inside hot water there's already hot water in here as you can tell it's already boiled so you add the green tea in there uh, and then you're going to add the lemon juice from your squeezed lemons, okay? So this is natural lemon, not uh, shop-bought one. So I've already squeezed it ahead of time. Uh, so I'm just gonna add the uh, lemon juice here, this freshly squeezed lemon juice right in there. And then you add just a teaspoon of oil. So if you want to use olive oil, that's fine. But in this case, I'm gonna use the coconut oil. So I'm just gonna uh, scoop just a teaspoon of it right there. Of course, you know, it's, uh, all clogged up so it's going to thaw out but when this thaws out this will be a teaspoon of of uh, coconut oil so you add it into the tea so that's going to serve as the carrier that's the oil carrier for the oregano essential oil so uh you do that and then you stir stir it stir it and then you add about two to four drops uh, you can always start off this, you know, the beautiful thing about this uh, container is that it's got its own pipette, okay? So you just squeeze, squeeze in uh, the oregano oil and then you add, you know, two to four drops. So I'm, in this case, I'm going to use about four drops. So one, two, three, four. That's it. And um, everything is all sorted. So what you just need to do then is stir. You just stir it and that's it is ready for you to drink okay so that's your oregano oil mixture there you go ahead and drink it and that's very good that prevents 
or stops any flow attack. It, it, it can actually prevent it. Indeed, you should be using this, using this about two to three times a week to actually prevent a flu attack but if you feel the signs of flu coming on use this as well another way you can use the organo oil is you can use a full fat milk okay full full fat milk you use that and then you just heat up the milk first of all and then you add the same thing about three to four drops of the organo oil so one two three four that's it you add that you stir it and you're done okay so this one is just milk now i say full fat milk because you don't need to use an oil carrier for this because the full fat milk actually has oil in it it's got fat in it i should say so you don't need any oil carrier the fat in the milk will serve as a carrier for the oregano oil that's all you need to do uh, but i like to warm the milk first of all before i do that okay so you you try that that's another way of doing it now my daughter so those are my preferred two methods of actually using the oregano essential oil but my daughter has come up with her own style her own technique uh, essentially what she does is she uses uh, lemon juice uh, along with honey uh, and then she adds a teaspoon of uh, olive oil and then she adds about you know two to four drops of the oregano oil so she uses lemon juice honey uh, olive oil teaspoon of olive oil and then the oregano oil so that's another way you can do it uh, but these are my preferred two methods using the green tea method as well as the full fat milk so um that's it i've actually enjoyed making this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up uh, just hit the like button right there uh, if you got anything to say say it in the comment section now the other thing is if you haven't subscribed well you should subscribe okay if you haven't subscribed to this channel if this is your first time on this channel please subscribe hit the subscription button is just right there in the bottom right corner uh, because that way you get notified of future videos that i make and if you think someone else you know might actually get value from watching this video please share this video with them as well okay uh, that's it i think until next time uh, like this video share it uh, subscribe until next time where well, this is dr joe signing out one of the reasons why i like the oregano oil is because of the active ingredient <laughs> <laughs>